This is a uh, Terry Wager. Uh, the date today is June 21st, 2015. Uh, the time right now is uh, 1 27 p.m. Uh, I'm making this uh, short vlog over uh, a music video that I've listened to and uh, viewed and uh, I, I have reported on my YouTube channel repeatedly that I am a victim of police and county sheriff sting operations. Uh, I'm a victim of a murder conspiracy. My wife, uh, Joan Wager, was having uh, sexual relations with people in law enforcement when she got a job at the Multnomah County Jail Kitchen. Um, I, uh, I have been targeted by... Uh, uh, police and county sheriff sting operations ever fucking since. Uh, right off the bat, the uh, Multnomah County Sheriff's and the Portland Police Department uh, brought in people they could, they could use to as doubles to impersonate me. And they were uh, impersonating me while they staged and committed crimes. Uh, they were setting me up for a series of crimes and uh, from what I have learned about uh, law enforcement in the United States and you can easily compare this to pretty much any country in the world as far as law enforcement goes uh, because all law enforcement agencies regardless of what country uh, the law enforcement agencies come from they all use sting type operations. Uh, they all they all are involved in covert uh, police sting operations of some sort or another. And I'm basically going to be discussing just basically one of the tactics that seems to be a common trait of sting operations by law enforcement, and that is the use of doubles. Um, law enforcement usually uh, regularly uses people when they target somebody in a sting operation they usually select somebody from their own ranks um, to act as a double to impersonate the person that they're targeting so that they can make their target look like a bad guy uh, New, news media and law enforcement has a very long history of cooperation. When law enforcement wants to vilify somebody, uh, the news media 100% goes along with it and allows uh, police uh, to make to false accusations and allows police to vilify people publicly using uh, the news media's resources. Um, and from what, from my experience and fr from what I have discovered through my own experiences of uh, being a victim of sting operations is that law enforcement regularly, regularly and consistently brings in doubles, people that they could use to impersonate the person they're targeting. Uh, I was playing a music video. Uh, the music, the the music video was uh, made by uh, Rob Hustle. I have downloaded this video from uh, YouTube. It's a music video. I don't, I don't, um, I should, unable to post a link uh, to where I found this video, but. Um, I'm I'm sure you can easily uh, I'm sure you can easily Google um, this video um, from you can find it on YouTube by just googling it I'm sure very easily um, but I noticed in this in this music video there is a very short clip of. Uh, <sighs> There is a very short clip in this music video where a law enforcement is using a double to batter their target. 
um, and I have it paused. I have that uh, section of the um, the video clip paused. I'm going to try to um, uh, bear with me here for a second. Okay, there now you can see my cursor uh, much easier. <coughs> I have this video <coughs> paused. Um, you can see this person right here is punching uh, this uh, citizen right here. And you can see there's a, a dude right there standing behind this person. Now this this dude that's doing the punching and this dude that's behind this person being punched uh, these two are undercover cops. They're both in law enforcement. They're both undercover cops. This is the vehicle that belongs to these two undercover cops. And it's not a marked vehicle. It's an unmarked vehicle. There's no lights on top of it. There's no signs on it indicating that they're in law enforcement whatsoever. And these two officers are in plain clothing. Plain clothing. Now, I want you to notice this person, what he looks like. Notice this cop and notice what he looks like. Notice the beard and notice the cut on his beard. And notice the, this person right here and notice his beard. Because uh, this person has delivered, he's, he's a lookalike. He's not an exact twin to this dude at all. But he is a damn close look-alike from a dis he's literally tailored his appearance he's he's mimicking this person right here uh, he's got he's grown out a beard and has it cut the same way that this person has it now this cop is wearing a beanie hat and the reason why he's wearing a beanie hat is because he's trying to hide the fact that he has his hair cut the same as this dude so he's practically bald and he's trying to hide that fact. <clears throat> this person is not normally a bald person. This cop is not normally a bald person. But he made himself bald because he was acting as a double and was impersonating this person. This cop is a sting operative. This cop is a sting operative. And they were targeting this man who's being punched. They were targeting this man in a sting operation. And they were staging and committing crimes for the purpose of framing this person. This is an important video to point out to people. It's more important than you, than you realize because it's one of the few times where law enforcement, instead of just deciding to keep their use of doubles covert, they're not even trying to hide it anymore. I mean, these two cops have it out for this person so badly. They want to frame this person so badly that they select a lookalike from their own ranks to change and alter his appearance so that he could double this person. He could be act as a double of that person. Now, it obviously reached a certain point where they decided, oh, the hell with it. They're not going to frown with this person anymore. They just decided they're going to pull him over. He wasn't even driving a car. This person here that's a victim of the sting, he's not even driving a car. He was riding a bicycle. He was riding a fucking bicycle. And these fucking pedophile cops that are so fond of using doubles, and every damn one of them are pedophiles, Every cop that act uses doubles is a fucking pedophile. <clears throat> they got tired of setting this person up, and they decided, well, gee, he's riding a bike, he's not wearing a helmet, and they used that as their excuse to pull him over and to beat him up and to arrest him. And then they framed him for resisting arrest charges. He's not resisting at all. He's being victimized by these plainclothes cops that are not even identifying themselves as cops. 
they're not even in a police vehicle. For them to say they're cops, that ain't good enough. That ain't good enough. You don't have to take plain clothes people on the street's word for shit. Just because they open their fucking mouths and say they're cops don't mean they're fucking cops. They are cops. But you don't have to submit to this type of a tactic. You don't have to submit to plain clothes people that are trying to hide the fact they're fucking cops while they fucking have a double following you around. And that's what they're fucking doing. This is a rare example of how a sting operation that is targeting their target and they're using a, one of their own officers from their own ranks to impersonate the person that they're targeting. This is one of the few times where you can actually do a, a comparison because these two lazy fucking cops got tired of covertly following this dude around and just covertly uh, setting him up by impersonating him by using a double. And they decided, well, gee, he's, uh, he's riding his bike. He doesn't have a helmet on. We can use that as our justification in pulling this man over and beating the fuck out of him. And then we can frame him for a resisting arrest charge. And that's essentially what they did. These two cops basically pulled this poor man over. He's riding his bicycle. He's not even driving a car. He's riding a fucking bicycle. And they pull him over. They use the excuse that he doesn't have a helmet on as their justification in pulling him over and then they proceed to beat the man and then they accuse the man they beat up of resisting arrest so these two pedophile cops and yes they're pedophile cops if they're using cops And they're not even trying to hide the fact that this dude changed his appearance so that he could impersonate this person. And he's trying to hide the fact that he's bald because he's impersonating this person. And that's why he's wearing the beanie hat. If you notice his face, you notice his face and notice the beard, he's a person that's a close lookalike to this person. He's not a twin by any measure of the word, but he is a close. He resent this cop resembles the size and height and build of this person and resembles the facial expressions of this person. <clears throat> so this cop simply tailored his appearance so that he could look more like this person. And that's why he's wearing a beanie hat because he's trying to hide the fact that he's not normally a bald person but he made himself bald because his target's bald. Because he was at this cop was acting as goddamn double. Now this scene is in this music video. Uh, I can uh, start the video up. It's, it's already near the end. As you can see from the marker on the, the video, is paused. Um, you can see from the marker this this scene shows up near the end of the video. Now I'm going to put the video back at the beginning, and I'm just going to let the video play. Uh, And then I'll have a commentary uh, right after that. Whoop. This is what happens when you call the cops. Say what? This is what happens when you call the cops. Come on. This is what happens when you call the cops. If you get your rights violated or you all get shot. Pow. This is what happens when you call the cops. Uh. This is what happens when you call the cops. Whoop. This is what happens when you call the cops. You get your rights violated or you all get shot. I'm sick of people being victimized by criminal cops. Psychopathic predators terrorizing neighborhood blocks. Equipped with pepper spray, mace, cuffs, tasers, and glocks. They like serial killers acting out subliminal. Thoughts. Forget what you taught, these cops have got a license to kill Witness intimidation means that they can use it at will Code of silence means that the pigs will never let out a squeal And if they go to court, they know the judge will make them a deal For real, that's why they stopping me, locking me up and stopping me Confiscating my property, talking in my demography Making the poor commodities, profiting off of poverty Enforcing policies, supporting prison economies, yeah No one makes money when the violence stops Hating brutality is the way to make a criminal crop Blood in the gut is how the rich butter they bread at the top And that's why this is what what happens when you call the cops? Come on. This is what happens when you call the cops. Uh. This is what happens when you call the cops. Uh. This is what happens when you call the cops. You get your rights violated or you all get shot. Uh. This is what happens when you
when you call the cops. Uh. This is what happens when you call the cops. Woo. This is what happens when you call the cops. You get your rights violated or you all get shot. Right? <laughs> What's your I'm mixed up in the system and these pigs is trying to murder me They made me, they tased me, they trained them to hate me Degrade and detain me and change just like slavery Hands up, face down, left hook, right quick Throw you down, hold you down, smack you with that night stick Night shift, riding round, see you with your J's on You'll get sprayed on over Skittles, word to Trayvon All the people saying is it's crazy down in Florida What you saying is you playing, it's the same in California They gangin' like they bangin' and they'll hang you down in Georgia Frame you in a case for what you say without a lawyer Swarming with no warning, now they sorting through your residence. Stormed them with no warrant, now they snorting all the evidence. You better just learn to dodge a box. Cause this is what happens when you call the cops. Come on, this is what happens when you call the cops. Say what? This is what happens when you call the cops. Come on. This is what happens when you call the cops. You get your rights violated or you all get shot. Yeah. This is what happens when you call the cops. Come on. This is what happens when you call the cops. Say what? This is what happens when you call the cops. You get your rights violated or you all get shot. We got a baby in the living room Get the grenades, pull a pin, throw it in the crib, blow him away There's a homeless guy camping here We're telling the pack When he gets up and starts leaving, shoot the bum in the back This guy rolled through a stop sign That's drugs for sale Get some doctors to rape him, send him a bill in the mail We got a black man knocking on a white woman's door With ten shots, point blank, he ain't gonna knock no more Look the problem starts at the academy New cadets are indoctrinated with a military mentality With them as the soldiers and us as the people that battle it. We're either collateral damage or combat fatalities Either way the reality is that it's not gonna stop Cause this is what happens when you call the cops This is what happens when you call the cops Come on, this is what happens when you call the cops This is what happens, 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 happens Say what? Happens when you call the cops Come on, this is what happens when you call the cops When you call the cops, this is what happens. All the kill me, look, we happen, happen. All call, 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 when you all get shot. Bang. Okay, now that you've uh, witnessed the uh, music video, uh, once again, I can't give you a link to it. Uh, you'll just have to uh, uh, Google it on YouTube. Um, here is the uh, name. Uh, it, this, the music video is called Call the Cops. This is what happens when you call the cops. Or That's the name of the uh, music video. And Rob Hustle, I think, person uh, that uh, made think. Um, that's what that's what it says on the video. Like I said, I just downloaded that video from the uh, YouTube. Um, but Keep in mind that this is a very important uh, news story that is completely overlooked by the news media. The fact that police sting operative, this is a perfect example of how police and or county sheriffs and even their civilian operatives stage and commit crimes for the purpose of framing their targets. Um, it is a common practice here in Portland, Oregon, by Portland police and by Multnomah County sheriffs to impersonate people that they're targeting. Uh, this is what they did to me. My wife was working at the Multnomah County Jail Kitchen as a prep cook. She began having sexual affairs with people in law enforcement. And after working at the Multnomah County Jail Kitchen for only a month and a half, one and a half measly months, my wife and every member of her side of the family was recruited by the Multnomah County fucking sheriffs and by the Portland Police Department into setting me up in a sting operation. And right off the bat, they brought in a double. Immediately. Now, I don't know if the double that they brought in to impersonate me was a uh, retired cop or a disabled cop. I don't really know. Um, 
He could just as well be a relative to somebody in law enforcement or a buddy to somebody in law enforcement. But when law enforcement brings in doubles, they just they generally select people uh, that they trust, people that are connected to law enforcement, either whether they be in law enforcement or whether they be civilian relatives to people in law enforcement or civilian buddies to people in law enforcement or even civilian girlfriends to people in law enforcement. Uh, people that are on board with sting operations, those are the people that law enforcement will select from usually quite often um, to act as doubles. If law enforcement can, they'll select, they prefer to select somebody from their own ranks, in other words, another officer, um, to act as a double. But if they don't have somebody in their own ranks that resembles their target, well, then they'll, they'll select from their civilian sting operatives. They'll select somebody that happens to be a, a civilian op um, for law enforcement that is a close lookalike, and they'll use that person as a double. Uh, news media completely and totally looks the other way on uh, law enforcement use of doubles. Now, this man, this victim here, he's a victim of organized people in law enforcement. He's a target and a victim of a sting. Just because he's being targeted by a sting doesn't make him a bad guy at all. The most innocent people in the world can be targeted by people in law enforcement. That doesn't make them bad guys at all. I guarantee you law enforcement's goddamn bad guys. You could easily call this motherfucker a pedophile since this son of a bitch wants to fucking impersonate people. You act as a double once, dude. You've acted as a double a thousand fucking times. <laughs> fucking pl this this uh took place uh this particular incident took place somewhere in Canada so these are uh, Canadian cops undercover cops so it doesn't matter uh what country you're from uh doesn't it doesn't matter all police in all countries use these tactics they all gain. It doesn't matter what country you're from. If you're targeted by police, you're going to be. You get ganged up on by. You get targeted by multiple people, and they always bring in a fucking double every goddamn fucking time in a sting operation. They bring in people to impersonate their target. It's how they make their targets look like bad guys. If this dude, this dude could take off that beanie, this cop could take off that beanie cap and easily impersonate this man. Easily. Uh, gee, these cops are following this man. They know who he is. They're following this man around. They know his route. They know uh, his routine. They know where he works. They know where he goes grocery shopping. So, oh, gee, they could easily, this dude here could easily mimic this poor dude and can easily act like a criminal. This cop could easily act like a criminal at the very places that this person frequents. And in law enforcement, they just take photogenic photos of this cop while he impersonates this man. And then they use those photogenic photos to make this man look like a bad guy. And news media goes along with this. It's their asses in this practice. The use of doubles by law enforcement and it doesn't matter what country it is. It doesn't matter what jurisdiction it is. It don't fucking matter. <laughs> because every goddamn, every police agency, every police department, every county sheriff's office, every local uh, state police agency, every local FBI agency, um, they all use these practices. All of them. And it doesn't matter. You can go to a completely different country, and it's the same fucking practice. The same shit. The use of doubles is so fucking common with police sting operations that, I mean, you could easily, you could easily find examples on YouTube of 
plainclothes people in law enforcement that are targeting people and that the one of those people that are targeting their target in his name happens to be a lookalike of the person they're targeting. And that sting up actually tailors their appearance. This motherfucking pedophile cop can frame this man for fucking anything if he's going to fucking tailor his appearance to resemble him and then to impersonate him. Now, any time law enforcement does this, any fucking time and every fucking time, they're taking photogenic photos of the double. They're taking fuzzy from a distance video surveillance that doesn't clearly show this person's face. And this is how they get away with making their targets look like bad guys to the public. And news media, being the bedfellows that they are to people in law enforcement goes along with this fucking bullshit. They go along with it. A fucking cop is acting as a double to impersonate this man and to frame this man. Here he is on video punching the man. These two lazy fucking cops got tired of just covertly following him around and staging and committing crimes themselves with the intent of framing this man. They decided, well, gee, he's riding a bicycle. Well, gee, he's not, he's not wearing a helmet. They can use that as their justification in pulling him over and then just, frame, just beating him and then frame him for uh, resisting arrest charge, which is just outright bullshit outright bullshit. This man did not resist. He didn't do anything wrong. He did absolutely fucking nothing wrong at all. These cops just fabricate their excuses out of fucking thin air and then they just they just make up allegations on their target and they batter their target. I don't even give a shit. These cops, obviously in Canada, uh, cops in Canada are obviously much more lazy than they are in uh, the United States. In the United States, uh, law enforcement tries a lot harder to hide their use of doubles. They may not necessarily hide it from other people, but they sure as hell try to hide it from their targets. Well, these sting operatives... These two sting up. They're not even hiding it from their target that they're using the double to impersonate him. And that the double's following him around. These plain clothes cops are trying to hide the fact they're plain clothes cops. They're driving a plain, a plain vehicle that is not marked as a vehicle law enforcement. And they're deliberately following this man around everywhere he goes. And this officer obviously tailored his appearance so that he could act as a double to impersonate this man. And he's trying to hide the fact that uh, he uh, cut his hair bald to look just like this guy. He's trying to hide that. That's why he's wearing the beanie hat. <coughs> that's, that's the reason why this cop's wearing the beanie hat. Because he's completely bald just like this guy is. Now, is he normally bald? No, this man is not normally bald, but he made himself bald because he was acting as a double to impersonate this man. Now, this is a fucking common practice in the United States of America, and it's a common practice, obviously, in Canada. But apparently in Canada, um, they don't try as hard to hide it in Canada, apparently, as they do in the United States. Either way, even when they're caught using, when law enforcement is caught using doubles to impersonate their targets, in which case they're literally caught red handed using a fucking double to impersonate this man. Um, hey, dude, hey, hey, Mr. Double, I can easily accuse you of being a pedophile since you're so fond of impersonating people. Now, I don't know if this cop's a goddamn pedophile or not, but I know damn fucking full well in uh, Portland, Oregon, uh, the Multnomah County Sheriff's and the Portland Police Department in Portland, Oregon, they regularly use officers from their own ranks to act as doubles to double the people that they're targeting. 
and quite frequently they frame their targets for crimes such as uh, felony break-ins and uh, rapes and murders and even as pedophiles and the officers that act as doubles they will literally stage a break-in or commit a break-in or they'll stage a rape or commit a rape or they will uh, stage a homicide or commit a real homicide or they will uh, fake being pedophiles or they'll actually be pedophiles for the sake of photogenic photo purposes so that they can frame their target and this is why law enforcement does this because news media goes out of their fucking way to hide this practice for law enforcement on a regular basis gets away with this shit How do I know this? Because, gee, my wife was working at the Multnomah County Kitchen as a prepper. She got recruited into sting operations when she was having sexual relations with people in law enforcement. They targeted me and every member of my family at the same fucking time under the pretense of a sting. And throughout the entire course of it, they were using a double. My wife happened to be having a sexual affair with a cop that was acting as a double to impersonate me. And that motherfucking pedophile cop was deliberately acting like a pedophile for the purpose of framing me as one. Now, my wife recruited our oldest daughter into this shit. Uh, back in 2000 and she was aiding and abetting them at the time and they were backing up false allegations on me uh, they admitted after the fact that their allegations were false uh, they obviously have no intention of having a trial they just want to vilify law enforcement just wants to vilify their victims their targets and then they usually just railroad their targets or uh, they murder their targets Uh, at no time are targets of stings, no, at no time are victims of stings welcome to give their side of the story or to report uh, their, uh, how they're a victim of a sting because nobody in law enforcement, nobody in news media will take a complaint from a victim of a sting. Nobody will take a, this person's complaint. Uh, people will not act on his complaint at all. Uh, this is a perfect example of how when they target people, uh, they bring in, they always select somebody from their own ranks or, or somebody from their own civilian operatives that are usually uh, cooperative with law enforcement in uh, the act of sting operations. Uh, they'll select somebody that they could use as a double. Now, in this particular case, uh, which is more often than not, in this particular case, it's an actual officer that's impersonating the target. Because if they can bring in an, an if they can bring in an, if they have an officer that resembles their target, then they prefer to take that route. But if they don't have an officer that resembles their target, well, then they'll select from their own uh, civilian sting ops. So they have a pool of civilian sting ops that are people that aid and abet law enforcement in sting operations and they'll select somebody from uh, their civilian ops to act as a double if they don't have somebody already in their ranks that could act as a double <clears throat> now this is more more often than not law enforcement usually does and or can find somebody in law enforcement that resembles a target of theirs so if they can go that route they prefer that route and that's the route they usually go um, but if they can't find somebody within their own ranks that resembles their target then they just bring in a civilian op of theirs that does resemble their target <clears throat> I cannot stress enough the fact that this is a common practice by local law enforcement uh, a lot of people uh, try to people away from the truth and a lot of people try to uh, hide the obvious fascism in this country and a lot of people try to hide the blatant criminality that local authorities are guilty of 
uh, there's a lot of propaganda on the internet where uh, people are they talk about the Illuminati or some goddamn garbage like that um, or uh, that's just propaganda um, they try to cover up sting operations by calling it gang stalking uh, oh these these officers are definitely stalking this person now aren't they but you have to understand that gang stalking, the term gang stalking, gang stalking was coined by uh, the FBI trying to hide and conceal police sting operations. Ever since the invention of the internet, people have been able, uh, average normal people have been able to better communicate and uh, network with other people and to uh, share information. Now, because of the advent of the Internet, uh, that posed a problem for uh, police sting operations because, gee, now people can compare notes and can more easily identify and more easily, more readily recognize and identify a sting operation. So the U.S. government is, is and governments um, in other parts of the world came up with new terms to describe this behavior. They came up with the term gang stalking. Now, essentially, gang stalking is police sting operations, but they created the term gang stalking so that they can hide, they can dis discuss the behaviors and the actions of the organized people that are targeting individuals without blaming law enforcement. And your government has officially recognized the term gang stalking, and they put that term gang stalking in uh, official dictionaries. And they're trying to use that propaganda as a, a way of hiding and concealing policing operations. Now, I need to remind you that back in the late 60s, early 70s, uh, the United States TV networks and United States uh, Hollywood movie makers, they were glorifying police sting operations in the 60s and the 70s. Uh, the 1960s TV show Mission Impossible was all about glorifying police sting operations. Uh, this was open knowledge in the late 60s, early 70s amongst uh, the population in the United States. Uh, the TV show Mission Impossible that aired in the late 60s, early 70s, it was a very highly uh, popular TV show. Um, everybody knew uh, that it was uh, that back in the day, back uh Back during that time frame, when uh, Mission, that TV series Mission Impossible was uh, first being scheduled to air, and uh, it was public knowledge that law enforcement contacted the producers of that TV show and arranged with those producers of that TV show to change the very beginning of the show so that they have a mysterious person uh, giving the targeting orders on an audio tape that self-destructs uh, that was law enforcement that made that suggestion to the producers of the TV show <clears throat> and the reason for that was because initially uh, initially they were going to literally have uh, police detectives being the ones that are giving the targeting orders and uh, it's basically it's a police detective that is organizing the sting and all the other people that that police detective brings in happens to be civilian operatives. Now it was understood at the time when that TV series Mission Impossible was first aired um, in the United States in the late 60s early 70s uh, it was open knowledge that it's, uh, it's just another cop show that's glorifying uh, police sting operations that was already understood by everybody. And it was even open knowledge. They had an article in TV Guide uh, back then where uh, they, made, they made it known that, uh, lo uh, that authorities contacted uh, the producers of that TV series Mission Impossible 
and they wanted the producers of that show to change the very beginning of the show so that instead of having a police or county sheriff detective directing and ordering these civilian ops into as to who they target and how they target so and so um, they wanted to change it so that they don't appear to be in law enforcement at all so what they did was they simply they they turned this police sting operation into this mystery group of people that just for mysterious reasons target people and they have a mysterious person giving the targeting orders uh, by a self-destructing uh, audio tape and that was law enforcement's suggestion to the TV producers of that TV series keep in mind that was open knowledge back then gee I was alive back then I know damn well uh, that that was open knowledge back then it was open knowledge and understood by everybody at the time that the TV series Mission Impossible was literally just another cop show that is glorifying uh, police sting operations and that it was even open knowledge uh, there was no such thing as internet back in the late 1960s early 70s but everybody in the 60s and 70s used TV guide everybody used TV guide back then and uh, it, there, they had an article in TV guide about how the uh, law enforcement contacted the producers of the show in order to arrange to have the beginning of the show changed because law enforcement does not want people they don't want people to know that law enforcement particularly detectives in law enforcement organize and fund and uh, arrange sting operations for the purpose of targeting people they try to hide it from people they don't want people to know they they don't want it to be open knowledge with people at all they want people to be completely ignorant of the tactics that uh, sting ops use now the fact that the, the fact that law enforcement regularly uses doubles and I mean regularly it's a constant if you if, is there if there's a person under investigation you can bet law enforcement used a double on that person to frame that person. It's a it's an automatic uh, action by law enforcement. Anytime law enforcement decides they're going to investigate somebody, um, every fucking time they bring in multiple people to target that person, and they always bring in somebody that they could use as a double. Now, this is a perfect example of how targets of stings are followed by plainclothes people in law enforcement, and they're followed in unmarked fucking vehicles, and are essentially being stalked by these sting operatives, and that, gee, they, they actually have a double that's actually following and stalking this person. Now this person can very easily uh, mimic this person and can very easily for uh, photogenic photos act like a criminal and or uh, uh, stage crimes for the purpose of framing this person. <clears throat> this person's double, this cop is doubling as this man and this cop is knows this man's routes and uh, the places that he frequents. So he can very, he can just, he can literally, this cop can literally mimic this poor man and go to where this man hangs out and take the same routes that this man takes in order to frame this man for crimes. This is how sting operations frame their targets and to make their targets look like bad guys. Now, when law enforcement actually makes an arrest of their target or they murder their target, the only thing news media will tell you is that is whatever law enforcement wants news media to tell you. 
In other words, news media will not tell you this man is being targeted by a sting. News media will not tell you that. News media will not tell you that plainclothes cops are stalking this man and following him everywhere he goes and that they're using a double to mimic him and to impersonate him. They will not tell you that. They, news media will only tell you what law enforcement officers tell them to tell the public. And that's it. And all law enforcement will tell news media is such and such target is a bad guy and that uh, they were investigating this person and that he has a history of complaints and he has a history of this and has a history of that. And uh, that's all news media will tell you. That's all news media will tell you. Hey, pedophile cop, you sure fun to vacuum as a double, don't you? Bet you love your photogenic, I bet you love it when your partners take photogenic photos of you while you act as a double, huh? It's a common practice in police sting operations for law enforcement to frame people as pedophiles by impersonating their target. This cop is impersonating this man. He changed and altered his appearance so he could double as this man. This is a common tactic by law enforcement. Common. People that get framed in police sting operations either end up getting publicly vilified and railroaded into prison without ever having the public opportunity to deny the bullshit that law enforcement makes up on their target. Or law enforcement vilifies their target and then murders their target. And then law enforcement never stands trial for jack shit. And they just proclaim themselves justified without ever having to testify or ever having to stand trial. You have a mindset in this country and pretty much around this world now that people no longer pay attention to courts anymore. The only thing that people pay attention to anymore is uh, news media. So news media is aiding and abetting law enforcement in proclaiming people guilty of crimes without giving people actual trials. They'll just proclaim the person a bad guy without a fucking trial. And they'll utterly destroy the person without a fucking trial. And news media 100% aids and abets these organized pedophiles in law enforcement in the framing of people and in the murdering off of people. They justify it. They justify their crimes. And they justify even the homicides that these cops commit by simply vilifying their target and then proclaiming themselves publicly uh, as justified. Uh, I don't know if you can tell how disgusted I am with law enforcement. I don't think I'm really trying to hide the fact that I'm very disgusted with these people. You go to act as a double, huh? You must be very fond of your partners taking photogenic photos of your fucking ass. I bet you fucking stalk kids, don't you? I bet you stalk kids while you impersonate people. That's what cops usually do when they act as doubles. Fucking pedophile cops. 